Windows, welcome back. I forgot the chat again. It's all right. Not a big deal. I can fix it. I figured everybody was playing Tears of the Kingdom anyway, so what's the point even of streaming? Mint Earthbound is reasonable. Something happened. Samuel, thank you so much for 26 months. Are you saying you're only 25 months old? I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to be on Twitch. Think. Oh wait, that's, oh, it's tomorrow? I thought it was today, I don't know. I, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. By I thought it was today, I'm saying I clearly then was wrong because I haven't been paying attention. Maybe they're, I don't know. Watching a picture of Nintendo and jerking it. I don't, I don't know. God, what's today? Oh, today's not Thursday? Oh no. I can make it, I can make it to vacation. Oh no, we're only 33%. But yeah, anyway, I uh, got caught at work a little later than I meant, and then Grid bought a drone, so we were playing with the drone in the back in the backyard. And then I feel like, Sitho, we talk about you at home way more than is not creepy for somebody who I've never met in person. For, I'm not sure on whose part it's, who's, well, it's creepy on our part, it's creepy for you. We were like, Sitho's gonna be mad that I'm not streaming yet. And then I was like, Sitho's gonna be mad that I'm not streaming yet and that I'm not streaming the fact that we're flying a drone like idiots in our backyard. Well, I, that's fair. I mean, I'm sorry. Apparently I'm very, very concerned about my hair right now. It's not a big deal. It's fine, relax. Okay. Oh, we're still on this level that is causing me extreme consternation. No, we... We've, like, been in here. Yeah. Probably. Oh, this isn't what I want. Um... Well, I think we still need more bananas in this one. We didn't finish. Did we fight the boss in here? I don't remember. Oh, we can pull switches now. Yeah, we did that. Can we break boxes? I feel like yes. It's tiny. Or chunky, right? Not tiny. I guess we already did that. Is 
So yeah, Grid and I are continuing to try to figure out how we can best plan for that yard sale that we're supposed to have this weekend. But as with most things in our life, or as with most plans we make in our life, we discovered that Grid has to work on Friday night, so that's extremely suddenly inconvenient. And then... I've just kind of mentally tapped out, which is shitty for Grid. And I don't know. There's just so many rooms with things in them. Things that we have to make for sale. But how can you focus on work when you have a drone? And I'm like stressing out. I'm like, oh my god, my neighbors are going to shoot it out of the air. Or shoot me. I am going to get shot by our neighbors. Can I get up there? Oh, there was a barrel right over here, right where I was. Right. I think we might have to find Cranky again, because I think this might be like a different warp pad thing. Burger and fries, how are ya? Donkey Kong indeed. We are so dank. Okay, I guess that was it. Oh! Welcome to bonus stage. The clap traps? These mini games make me want to die. understand how you I don't understand how you 101%ed this. I was so ready. Like I was I was ready. I was like, yeah, Banjo Kazooie, I can do that again. No. I was naive. I didn't know what I what I didn't know anything. That's what naive means. The end. 
right, let's see if we can find a... Sure. Alright friends, you have to help me drink more water. I have to stop drinking soda, and also I have to stop drinking sugar-filled alcoholic beverages. Mostly because I had a pair of shorts that were really, really comfy. And now they don't fit anymore, and I'm not upset about them not fitting anymore. I really don't want to buy a new pair of shorts because I hate shopping. Hello. And they were really comfy, and I'm mad that they're not comfy anymore. Hello. They do sound good. Until then you've drunk too many of them, and then they don't feel good anymore. Alright, we went in there. That's the tiny thing. Uh, yeah, I don't usually drink a lot of soda, but I have stopped drinking water. Well, not so much stopped, but I have slowed down on drinking water and... I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like the idea of... I mean, do whatever works for you. I, I've always kind of been like the... It's not so much my diet I've tried to police, it's my thought processes. So like, if I'm going to eat something, I'm going to eat the full fat version of, of it. I'm going to eat the full sugar version of it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and quibble about diet shit. But that comes from a, pr a place of like, the privilege to be able to just do that. I'm not, you know, I don't have any diabetic concerns. Are you green? Who's fucking green? I forgot. No, you're green. You've got the green back patch. You're blue. Um. Yeah, and then you can... I mean, I... I guess I'm kind of, I don't want to say critical, but I, I heard too much about the, like, aspartame is giving you brain cancer. So I'm also a little dismissive of that, whether or not that's valid or not, just because that's how my life is led, but. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just trying to make general changes. I have kind of stopped walking which is stupid because I live again now in a suburban area where it would be easy to walk. So I w would like to start building walks back into my daily routine. Or if not daily routine, perhaps a routine. Why am I still sunburned? It's been like a week and a half. 
Um, I know this summer I'm going to be doing a lot of. Okay, so we still apparently have a little bit of controller drift. This is one of the dri this is one of the controllers that that we fixed. But otherwise, it feels pretty good. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I don't need any help on the anxiety front, I suppose, so. Um, but yeah, I just want to drink... I want to drink more water. This summer I'm going to get a lot of... physical activity in. I've already gotten a lot in, in the yard, and I'm gonna do more. <laughs> Normally, my problem is forgetting to eat. See, that's, I think, really where my, where my actual issue is, where actual weight gain is coming from, is, like, I don't eat regularly, so it fucks up a metabolism that I could otherwise have. eat until five o'clock in the evening and then consume so much food you fall asleep. Not a good plan. Uh, we need what's-his-face for this one. Okay. If I lower my stress levels, maybe I'll be healthier. So bad. I was gonna say I haven't had a headache in a while though, but I shouldn't say that out loud. It doesn't really do it for me, actually. Um, granola bars don't tend to have any protein in them. And if you get protein bars... Oh, fuck. First of all, protein... I've tried the protein bar route, and that just leads to disordered eating. To me. In me. Um... But it also doesn't, like, if it's if it doesn't have any protein in it, I will eventually get a headache. On the third or fourth granola bar, I will get a headache. happened. Oh, oh, oh god. Where are you for? What? I'm confused why these are enemies here. Like, what does this level have to do with dice? Oh, 
Oh, is it? I didn't know it was a toy factory. Mike Tyson's knockout. Or was it punch out? Really, dude? Really, my guy? Yeah? I'm pretty sure we already did that one. But I cannot handle it just flipping the camera on me. Is Donkey, like, the cool relative? He's got, like, the kind of greaser haircut here. He wears a tie. Is he, like, sexy for a monkey? Sometimes I just say things to make sure you're paying attention. Oh, good. All right, good. Just making sure. Were we supposed we were supposed to like turn the factory back on, right? Or turn it off? I don't remember. Oh, it's on now. Oh no. Is this worse? This level has been so confusing. Oh right, we were at the the next level. The one with the pirate ships. Oh, banana. Hello, 
sir. I hope y'all's poopers are doing okay. I don't want to play this. I just don't want to play this. I, in my heart, I want to play it, but in reality, I would like to live a life unfettered by high blood pressure. All right. Um. I mean, honestly, I think maybe we can just leave because I think we we beat the boss for this. So now ha we have we have some extra nanas. Well, maybe not really extra, because we didn't find all the bananas in here. But we got some medallions, that's cool. Nice! That's awesome, good for you! Immediately make them regret that! Fuck you, I am unfireable. This is snide sweet. Three out of eight? So we didn't. Was the boss that jumping thing? Did we end up beating that? Because we beat the, the, the sand level in the beginning. The second level was... Was what? there a second level? This isn't the second level. This is the third level, right? Oh god. <laughs> Meow. Just please. clock like the punch card kind I feel like somewhere those still are in existence I had to use one of the ones that fucking reads your fingerprint oh hate that I don't want I don't want my boss to even come near my fucking biometric data are you kidding me that seems like it should be literally illegal like but it makes it so nobody else can put- it's so easy, you just have to put your finger on it. Fuck you. Are we all wait in a row? That's cool. We all- well, I don't because I'm on salary, but everybody at work now uses that stupid ADP app. Now we don't. I'm thankful now we don't- although... Actually, maybe Grid had to use the, the fingerprint time clock for a hot second. I think we might have misplaced it when we moved. ADP can suck my dick. ADP sucks. ADP bones my assistant all the time because it, uh, she's got like four registered jobs. So she can't clock in from her phone anymore because it's too stupid to, the phone app is too stupid to register which or to like let her change jobs and it always clocks her in the wrong one or something or it, or it just like fucks up every time. Oh, that's crazy, Evan. Ah, 
Uh, I worked at PetSmart. You should hack PetSmart. Because in order to sign into, get this one, in order to sign into the cashier stations, they made you, the, the default pin number was the last four of your social security number. Can I just tell you that? It was the last four of your social security number. Fuck. Fell off. Well, I mean, I can kind of understand it for the military. I'm not... Uh, we'll have an argument about the military-industrial complex at another stream, but... My point is... That's... Oh, oh, the social. No, I think that's fucked up. What is this? I don't trust PetSmart's fucking cashier system to not get hacked. Oh my god, come on. Please let me up here. They might not anymore. This was like 15 years ago. burn off your fingerprints. Isn't fingerprinting like less less cut and dry than we were always kind of sold it was anyway?
did it. Great. Does this mean there's blueprints in the main hub? The hub world? Guess so. Welcome to bonus stage. Okay. Welcome to bonus stage. Fuck. Fuck. Why is this one so much harder? The switch between my brain and my hands are just- it's, brain hands are broken today. Back in the shed, Grandpa. No, I don't want to try it again. I want to give up. for a while. Encountering so I'm sorry that this is what I thought of when I saw your username, but I've been encountering so many like horny Leon pictures on Tumblr. Not from Emerlyn, to be clear for everybody who's listening. Just so many. And like I didn't get most of them. I, I mean not like I didn't understand what they were. I was just like, mm, okay. Blondes. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Until it was like, one of them was a cosplay where he was like tied up in bondage cave cords. I, I don't, I don't know how to do the fancy bondage knots. 
That one was a problem. Yes! <laughs> Is that what it's called? See, it was terrible. See, what I said was terrible. And then that Emerlin knew exactly what I was talking about was worse. And then that Seatho knows exactly what the knots are called. Collectively. We're awful. I had to explain to my boss and my coworker, who is about 10 years older than I am, what creepypasta means today. And I had to explain to them why it was called creepypasta. <laughs> So I thought that was, and then my my assistant and I are just looking at each other, and I'm like, "Shut up! Don't don't talk to me. You're terminally online too." And yeah, but they're not on the internet. My boss is in her seventies, and my coworker is not online. She, she she runs an Instagram for her dogs. She's she's only on the good parts of the internet. <laughs> Okay, clearly we did a bad job with this controller, but that's okay. I give it to whoever I want to lose at Mario Kart. Actually, I wonder, I don't know if we can hot swap controllers or if the console will have a fit. Okay. think so. I've seen a couple Tumblr videos of extremely precise Asian girls tying knots, but usually it's bows. And then you go, oh fuck, that's how you do it. That looks so easy. get a game over. I I wasn't sure if the console would have a problem with me swapping the controller in the middle of the game because it won't... Like, if you start the console without a controller in it, you can't then afterwards plug a controller in it without turning the console off again. So I wasn't sure. I, I didn't want to fuck something up, so I just saved it and quit so that I could use a different controller because this one has stick drift. And I wanted to check another one that we did to see if that one also had stick drift. I still haven't used PC Stitch, despite which which just has a picture photo upload. Although I haven't, like I said, I haven't actually used the photo upload. <laughs> oh, was that also stick drift? Listen, for simple patterns, Excel is fine. That's not even Excel, it's Google Sheets. It's worse. It's worse than Excel. Listen, people do crazy things on Excel. I, I saw, you know, 3D art. 
can't tell them that they're dumb. Validation. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> My melons. I just fucking ran around the entire wrong side of this stupid island. Alright, there's another... There's one more door in there, so we went in that one. Yeah. That's right. I almost have collected all of the DC DMC colors of gloss. <laughs> you can fit so much money in these bad boys. I guess we already did this. Yeah. All right, I don't. Is it underwater, under the boat, maybe? I'm just so torn. I really want to make a sampler like like that Yoshi one you posted. But I don't like the aesthetic. But I don't like samplers. Like that was the one thing that I that really pushed me away from cross stitch for a really long time was that kind of sampler aesthetic. And I find that even pixel sprites don't over override that inherent dislike that I have of this style, which is weird. Well, I mean, not necessarily weird, it's just how I feel, but I don't know. I want to work on a bigger piece. I want to have something with more design and more intention than just a single pixel sprite, but I don't know what that is. I really like the idea of taking the traditional form and updating it with something like pixel strikes. I think that's brilliant. I just don't want to display it in my house for my things, which is, again, valid. I just, I don't know. So it would kind of be a waste if I made it because I'd probably give it away. I don't want to sell patterns that I've- or as sell things that I've made from other people's patterns. But I'm not, like, good enough at art to create a full pixel scene. Though I was looking through- oh, I fucked up. I was looking through my- downloaded patterns the other day and I found I don't remember who made it either maybe it was Pekka Beastie maybe I don't remember somebody made a somebody made a Dusa pattern 
and they shared it with me. And I always meant to do it, and then I forgot about it for a long time. It is super cute. I just, again, I don't feel quite as called to it because it's not, not like, originally... Uh, a pixel pattern? I do see. Hey. I'm glad we don't have drowning. Hey, Sarah. I don't know. I also found this amazing. Oh, do I still have the link up or the I think I still have the the browser window up, because I think I just need to buy the pattern. I need to- I just need to buy that too. For a while I was looking at it and I was like, mm, I can reverse engineer those. And I'm like, yeah, or you could pay four dollars and just say thank you for having this idea, because I didn't have this idea. Thank you. And then just have... And then just make it. And stop being such a snobby... Crochet bitch. I finally finished the body of the, the Tunisian crochet piece that I was working on, and I hate it. And it doesn't fit. To the extent that, despite the fact that I have literally started and pulled it out... Eight times, I am done. I'm going to pull it out again. Now it's completely finished, and I'm going to pull it out again. And then I'm going to look at the picture and redesign the pattern for normal crochet. Because now I'm mad. Now I'm angry. That's why, I don't know, I just, I'm so hesitant to... There are a lot of good pattern makers on Etsy... And then there are a lot of people who fucking suck at making patterns and don't... I don't know. When I was in my first drafting class, our first, and I, I feel like this is a very common one, my first assignment in drafting class was write directions for how to fold a paper airplane. And off the top, you think that's very easy. It's not. It's not easy. It's not easy to fold a paper airplane. It's not easy to tell someone how to fold a paper airplane, assuming they have no prior knowledge of what the fuck a paper airplane is supposed to be or look like, and only following your instructions, and maliciously unfollowing, maliciously, you know, malicious compliance in following your... So that's, that's how you have to write patterns, and... I don't know, I feel like a lot of people... That's why I never use Ravelry, either. A lot of people were, are like, well, I have my notation that works fine for me. I'm like, well, that's great, but... Ow. Yeah, it's very hard to... Yeah. Well, my problem, I think, I think what I'm saying about that is, like, I'm worried, I started that, that claw, claw game one, but it's so big. It makes me feel like whoever created the pattern didn't actually do it, because it's so big. And it's not even that it's big, it's just that it's, like, it's unnecessarily big for how simple it's like higher resolution than the TV that you would have played that on. So like, why, you know? I, I would have cut it down, de-resolutioned it, 
I hate this level. Remember how I hated the last level? I hate this level. I hate swimming. Oh yeah, absolutely, see though, yes. I mean, generally speaking, I just hate, I hate assignments that are built where you fail, that you're, they're, you're built to fail them. They are built to fail you, and that I feel is one of them. The, the lesson you're supposed to get out of that is you can always explain things better. Be very deliberate and particular with how you explain things. But I just don't feel like you're supposed to ever... You're, you're ever gonna get it right. How can I be a different monkey? I don't remember who is... Appropriate to be the fish, though. I thought it could have been anybody, but I'm wrong. Anything. I don't understand how to control this stupid fish. This looks like a crocodile's asshole.
I don't know where the rest of these are at all. <laughs> fucking hell. Just push me out of the area. Don't fucking turn me out. Hey. Ain't nobody got shit. What? Bullshit! What about all those bananas I picked up from the other place? Ah, uh, they don't carry over. That can't be right. They were all collective together. hate swimming. Oh my god, I can't even use a camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
That was remarkably straightforward. Welcome oh. to bonus stage. Mario Paint. Still haven't played it. I haven't done that either. But yeah, that's why I haven't streamed it, because I figured it would just be like painting. <laughs> Do have the SNES mouse, too. Oh, we got Mario Kart 64 and Diddy Kong Racing in the mail today from the various uh, raffles we won. Not raffles. Bids. Auctions. There we go. Okay, so we know where some yellow bananas are, so why don't we go fucking get DK? I mean, I wouldn't commit to it, but that doesn't really matter because I wouldn't play Mario- I wouldn't necessarily play Mario Kart for very long, either. I just- I'm not a racing game person. It's not that I trust Rare, because I don't. It's that- I'm mad in racing games. So I might do like... Some Mario Kart. Some Diddy Kong. Probably. I played the shit out of Cruise in USA. Gramps had that one. The problem with that was I, it didn't have like... I don't know like it just looped and I could never figure out if it looped because I lost or it looped because I won or it looped or it wasn't looping maybe I just didn't play long enough or if I just wasn't getting the right times it's never clear
Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Well, that was weird. in here with Duncan. Really? Do we only get... I have to check? Come on. jump directly out of water. I also wish things like doors would render in from further away. was completely pointless. Good time. I did not see these. Yeah. 
it. But then how would you square your desire to make it better with your desire to make me miserable? this fall off so easy. I feel like even Conkers did that better. There's a hesitate, there's a ledge grab, there's a... Windmilling the arms. No, you just fucking fall off. Immediately. Give all five of those bananas to... I'm sorry, all three of those bananas. Speaking of uh, perpetually making me miserable, Cookie Clicker's final building update came to Steam! It's a lie, it doesn't make me miserable. I love that game so much. No problem. Number, go up faster! It did, yeah. It did. It was great. I had a great time. We got like three banana medals in the factory. Oh man, this one has stick trip too. Oh. Apparently our 
One dollar replacement parts were not the best replacement parts we could have possibly gotten. Actually, honestly, they move fine. Just if you... If you, like, let go of the... If you snap the controller black... Or if, you, if you snap the stick back... Daddy Crocodile. Well, I'm doing good on getting all the crowns so far. I think that's three or four, and I don't think there were many. Oh my goodness, why am I so tired? That sucks. We're going in here. Oh, I guess there's a barrel inside. I really wish there weren't so many of these doors. Let's 
seems ridiculous. I feel like it just wastes a lot of my time. I don't have to come back in here, but I I find myself doing that anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Damn it. I made a reservation today at a restaurant for the first time in my whole life. I've l I've lived this this was this is unrelated to anything else. I've lived this charmed life where whenever I want to go to restaurants, generally speaking, they have a table for us and if they don't He does swim like a mermaid. He's a mermonkey. Um, but I actually did a grown-up thing and reserved a table at a restaurant. We're gonna have a date. Well, I guess that means I won't be streaming next Wednesday. During the evening. Oh well. Surprise! I think next week's gonna be really touch and go because I'm gonna be on vacation. In case you haven't heard me talk about it enough. And we have so much house stuff that we want to get done. I'm gonna, thank you. It's gonna be great. Okay, these are green, I guess, I think. Invented N64 water underwater swimming physics should be shot. Who did this to me? Who are they? Are they are they clearly labeled? Is it like this this is Steve? Steve made you hate underwater levels.
Right? That is super fucked. I also don't understand why you have to be- I guess the fish is blue. It's dumb. What color is the rhino? The rhino's not green. Wait, what did you have to be to be the rhino? DK? I guess the rhino was brown, maybe. It's dumb. Doesn't make any sense. have like three inches of render distance. <laughs> are the bananas not there or are you just centimeters too far away? Would have rocked as a as a multiplayer game. Somebody needs to casually put in like hundreds of hours of work to make that happen for free, and then get sued by Nintendo. how we open that. Okay, I'm gonna forget that that's open and where did... No! It's a... No, it's a bastard! Why? What? That's like fucking... A 
million years away. No, I'm not doing this. I'll figure out which one of the warp pads goes there in a minute. The fact that the timer stays in the screen is nuts. I think it's this one, yeah, because it's over there. Please, yellow? Yes. I don't understand the purpose of the coins. <laughs> they seem pretty useless now. Wait, this isn't it, is it? Please don't be on a timer. Oh, come the fuck on! following me or am I following the fish? Okay, it seems like the fish is following me. I'm sure fans of the series were very excited. Thank you. 
Welcome to bonus stage. Oh no. <laughs> entry in every one of these where it's not actually that hard. one second I have to like actually I think I have to change the laundry but I have to get up and walk or else I'm going to sit here and fall asleep I will be right back friendos Rude was coming down the hallway as I got up and started walking down the hallway and he like had first of all I didn't hear him at any point down the hall and he had stopped like up on his toes because he, he was like going to step but then like stopped stepping and so he was just a perfectly still and my brain just went he's gonna kill you it's a <laughs> you know i don't necessarily disagree that this game is easier for people who have played the previous iterations, but it's also, like, I feel like the language is clearer if that's what you've done. But man, it's just kind of hard. The 3D just kind of throws it into a whole new... He was just so quiet. Normally I can hear him. He jingles a lot most of the time. And even when he doesn't, you know, his vibrations are tuned to my vibrations. Generally, I know where he is. Even if he's kind of quiet about it. But he... Root also looms really good. Like, he's really good at it. I don't think he would spoil his vacation by having to dispose of a body. That's a lot of work. I don't think he'd want to do it. Rude, would you murder me on vacation? <laughs> He's very confused. Where's the vacation? We're not on vacation now, so you can't... The, the joke doesn't work. I'm not... I'm not arguing with you about how you feel about me. <laughs> I'm saying your joke's bad. Do better. Is there a print strategy guide of this game? There has to be, right? I'm gonna look it up. I love looking things up on the internet while you guys can't see my desktop.
Prima's official strategy guide. Grid, I need you to buy something off of eBay for me. Wait, this looks familiar. Do I own this? Hang on, I gotta go check. Don't worry, I don't own the strategy guide for Donkey Kong 64, but man, it does look familiar. Oh no, I know you have the full screen game. I didn't I didn't actually switch it to Oh, you're right. Sorry. I thought you were saying you don't have the view of my monitor, which is correct, you don't. Well, I'm going to have to buy that. I just have a soft spot. I don't know why the Prima official ones specifically. I guess it's good that I don't want all strategy guides ever. And maybe it's better for my wallet because like this I don't under I don't understand. I guess this is probably all of the you got to go through all of the hoops, but I literally have only seen the one. really liked them. I, I did. I definitely was pedantic enough to find errors in strategy guides back then, especially. And I don't remember there being any errors in that one, or in the ones, in the Prima ones that I had access to. Wait, gotta jump the one hoop by- why? That's dumb.
Otherwise, that's not on a timer, too. bizarre. Hey kids, look up. Look up Lanky Kong inflation. myself. Welcome to bonus stage. Shoot all these cats in a barrel. Wonder if there's fall damage. I bet the, the mermaid necklace is in here.
What is depth perception? Speed running hack. I'm sorry, what? Well, the collision on these is just absolutely fucked. if the coins were bigger they excuse you excuse you i went through the center of that thank you I know, I'm just ruining it. Making everything else harder. Okay. supposed to get up here with fucking DK. That one was yellow. Welcome to bonus stage. It's a bonus stage. Lucky would be like rad. Oh, 
Oh, I feel like that was the checkered there, right, too. Welcome to bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage. I hate the bonus stage guy. Welcome to bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage. Oh, that's right there. Yeah. I mean, we could see the Welcome end of it. to bonus stage. Ah, motherfucker. Oh. Ah. 
I'm just getting worse. Welcome to bonus day. Welcome to bonus stage. See, DK seems like the Clark Kent of great apes, right? And then, and then Diddy seems like motherfucker. Younger brother who's on some sports team. You never like actually see him play, and he definitely shoplists like all the fucking time. And he's he's not like it's just mostly just a fucking misery to be around. I've done- I swear to god I cut that corner before. Welcome to bonus stage! I can fit that into my headcanon, yeah. And then you know, like you know, and you're the guidance counselor, and you're like, dude, you you can be so much, you can do so much better than this. Could you just stop actively trying to be a fuck up for five seconds? Let go. Let go. Okay, so that's how we got to get Donkey Kong up here. I hate you. I'm still so upset that the watermelons make jiggy noises. Or, uh, I'm sorry, music note noises. Oh. 
You know, the criticism in the 90s was that there were too many, uh... Cute animal protagonist platformers, which... When somebody said that to me, I was like, what? Because I would have killed for more cute animal protagonist collectathon platformers. I just wasn't aware of any more of them. I, I had Spyro, I had Mario, which isn't an animal, but you know. I had Banjo-Kazooie. That's all I had. I think the problem was not that there were too many cute animal collectathon platformers, it's that Rare made the same game like four straight times. Hey Rare, maybe the problem isn't the industry, maybe the problem is you. Fuck! I remember where the mermaid is. Oh! Tiny's got a lot of internalized misogyny. Tiny's one of those 
one of those girls that talks about how how much she's not like other girls. And actively subverts femininity, not because it gives her any pleasure, but because she wants to distance herself from... from the concept of being feminine. Well, you know, I already I already gave a character breakdown of DK. And like Diddy. said I was not like other girls. I refuse to assign any interesting sexuality or gender to Tiny because she does that stupid coquettish like <laughs> thing at the fucking intro screen. And that was not her fault. She did not make that choice. Somebody made that choice to give to her, but I hate it. So I refuse to go with Tiny Kong is butch. I refuse. I won't. Maybe she will be later in the future after she breaks down a bunch of things, you know? Does some... does some work. Like this, why is there just this fucking giant asshole? And the only thing in the bottom of it is the portal. Might make it. You can reach that key, you lazy fuck. I really wanted I really wanted Junkie to have six.
thing makes are actually pretty fucking terrifying. Is very close. Please don't do it. Oh, good. <laughs> Please not one more. Please, 
Thank you, that was fine. I'm full now. Yeah, for real first try. Lanky definitely does NASCAR, but not NASCAR like around the track. I mean like NASCAR when it was a bunch of fucking hillbillies in the woods. Souping up cars to bootleg. That's what... That's what Lanky's deal is. The only Kong that fucks. Chunky is actually really great at the at the at the um the triangle. Like he's he's actually an accomplished percussionist. Widely considered to be extremely deft, you know? But his family fucking hates him. Cause he's as big as DK, but he's not quite as suave, you know? He asked them to come to one of his concerts once, and he actually was playing the triangle, but he wanted them to come because the piece was really special. But then they were just like, you fucking idiot, you played the triangle? We cannot blame... Chunky Kong for MAGA. We can't... And I feel like in the 90s, it didn't used to be quite so douchey. It used to be more, like there was a point where it used to be like Ash Ketchum, like spunky, like Ash turns his hat around when he's like ready to fight some Pokemans. And then after that, it became like ultra douchey. Maybe Chunky is trying to wear it backwards to, to make his family like him a little bit better, but it's not working. <laughs> exactly, Samuel. You get me. <laughs> and then the only thing they get out of that was, You cried, you fucking pussy-ass bitch. Am I giving you too much insight about my my own personal family trauma? Is this is this Ooh. too much information?
It is so funny to watch the percussion section in an orchestral piece. I, I love it. I'm like, dude, you sit there for so long. Like, obviously there needs to play be a, a dude to play the timpani and then another dude to play the cymbal. They play at the same time, but fuck. <laughs> Sorry, DWX. I'm trying to characterize, I'm trying to like deep, deep dive characterize all of the Kongs. So DK with his little like fucking pompadour spiral there is is like the perfect Clark Kent of of the Kongs. He's like so cool. He's super cool. He's super perfect. You know, he's the metric on all the, the how all the other Kongs wish they were. And then we've got Diddy, who is the younger brother that plays sports. And he's like but he's like that that chode that like tries to be a fuck up. So, you know, wears sweatpants all the time. Gets caught smoking, shoplifts, like actively tries to be a shithead. Not just like is kind of a low-key fuck up, but like tries to be a shithead. Really the worst. Could be really smart, but just won't won't even for any reason. And then Tiny has a lot of internalized misogyny. She she doesn't- she's not like other girls. She- that's why she dresses like a tomboy, but she's like shitty about it. And then, uh... Oh, it's not this one. Lanky's kind of above all this. Lanky- Lanky's older than all of them. He's a hick in the woods who builds cars for NASCAR, but like... NASCAR, like, before they were multi-billion dollar souped up whatever, back when they were just, like, fucking making cars to bootleg. <laughs> and the argument was made that that Chunky is wearing a red hat and it's backwards, but, you know, we gotta, we gotta look at the, at the year this came out. Absolutely, yeah. Nope, not this. Nope. I don't remember which one is the. Woo! Oh boy. We've got to stop playing. Oh, I'm down for that, see, though, yes. So you're just gonna fucking yeet me? Okay, well, this is fine. Okay, okay. All right, now with all of this um, extremely non-canon bullshit, I have to go to bed. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I may or may not play... We may or may not do Dark Souls tomorrow. I know I've been doing Dark Souls on Thursdays, but I've got super vacation brain, so my goal tomorrow is to play video game, and whatever that has to mean is what it's gonna mean, okay? So thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Hold on to your own vacations, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. <laughs>